Hi guys. Um, we are going to go ahead and cover a little bit in Photoshop today. Um, I have some messages and some different things from some of you guys talking about um, the upload times for submitting your Photoshop worksheet files. Um, and part of that is just due to size. So I wanted to cover a couple of ways to make sure that your Photoshop file is as small as it can be um, and kind of walk you through that process because I don't think it's something that we have covered very well in the videos. So um, here's how it works. Here is the Photoshop worksheet. You guys can see all those layers. You're really familiar with layers in Photoshop. As you've completed the worksheet, you're gonna end up working through all those and you guys have done great. The fastest way to make this file a whole lot smaller um, is also a way that is a little bit um, less flexible with your file. So the way to do it is, is you're on your layers panel. You're gonna go over to this little brick, click on that, your fly out menu comes out. You're gonna hit flatten image. You can see all those layers that you once had access to are now compressed into the one background image and it's locked up. Now, if you are submitting a file, here's best practices. Um, as far as what I do for clients, I save two files. I submit PDFs or JPEGs to my client and I name them whatever the project is, round one, round two, round three, until we get a final file that's ready to go to print and then I name it final or print ready. Um, and that's what I turn over to the client. Now, that's not always the files that I'm working in. Usually what happens is, is they give me back um, edits or comments and things that they want tweaked. And then I go back into what I save as my master file. Now, if I save this as a PSD file right now with, this, with these layers flattened, it's going to save it flattened, which means that I can never go back to all those layers that were already created. So before you save this as a PSD, you would hit Control Z to make sure you still have all your layers. Then you go up to File, Save, as a PSD file. So this would be your master spreadsheet. So I would name this, you know, greeting card master um, and name it after my client's business or whatever it is we're creating. So that's, that's the best case scenario. It is great as far as compress the file, but it doesn't give you a lot of flexibility. If you want to work in the file, you could send it over and it would be flattened and they could add additional um, layers in, but you can't get back into the layers to adjust what you've already created. So that's the first way to do it. So just for the sake of argument, let's say that we wanted to leave all those layers out. Another way to compress this would be to go to file and hit save as. You're going to get the, um, the dropout box that comes out. The first thing I do even before I name the file is go to my format and make sure that I have clicked Photoshop PDF. You can see I've already scrolled down there. Um, right here you can see that it's ticked for layers. That means it's going to keep all of these. If I untick that, it's going to take those away and it makes me save it as a copy, which is totally fine. Um, this means that essentially all those layers are not going to be included. Obviously, best practice would be is to flatten the image and then to save it as a PDF and to make sure that that layers was unticked. But for this case, we're just going to go ahead and hit save. I named it, I would have named it whatever I needed to for the client project, but for this, I'm just going to save. It puts me into a high quality print. Um, modified, which is fine. It's just because you took off the layers option. And then right here, um, this is the last place that I would say to untick um, the little checkbox to make sure that you have a file as small as you can without losing your quality. And it's this box right here that says preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. If you untick that, that's going to make it that much smaller and then optimize for fast web preview. That checked is obviously going to make it a little bit faster to upload to. Then you just hit save PDF. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Um, again, best practice is save a master file that is a PSD file and has all of your layers. And then whenever you compress files to send to a client or to submit on iLearn, you're going to go ahead and flatten your layers after you've already saved your master PSD, flatten your layers, save as a PDF, make sure that you have the um, editing capabilities taken off, the fast web preview as, as checked, and that your layers are not included and then hit save as a PDF. That should make your document a lot smaller um, and still keep it at the size that it should be, so it should be easier to submit. Um, hopefully that helps with saving and compressing files and making those upload times a little bit less of a headache.